Okay. So with uh, our washes, uh, you have a way to flood texture into uh, or flood color into your texture and wipe away, right? So they're, they're similar to the uh, underglaze, uh, the slips that we have underneath the table over there, except that they're really watered down. Um, so if people are familiar what underglaze is, this is just watered down underglaze. Um, so with those texture blocks that I have uh, people carve, um, just flooding the surface of it and wiping it away with the sponge, uh, you get a lot of depth on it. So um, the two different halves, uh, it's glazed on top and it is not glazed on bottom. So you have a really dry texture on bottom and on top you get that nice bright uh, typical ceramic sheen right and so over here um, you know this is orange up on the top and then on the bottom i did some uh, color variation between yellow orange uh, red and then green and blue right so it's kind of like painting with watercolors a little bit right so um if like people are interested like madison is uh has been uh slipping up her stuff with uh the black slip and if you want to uh add into those carvings some color so you have like a black base and then um the carvings you can add color that is perfectly reasonable. Um, this is a piece of student work that uh, I kept for just such a special occasion. Um, I'll uh, you know use this uh, design to um, you know make. Make some pretty colors, right? So the difference between the slips and the washes, the slips go on when leather hard, right? The washes go on when your piece is bisqued, right? So when in doubt, click your piece to make sure that it's bisqued. If it's bisqued, you use the wash. If it's leather hard, you want to use the slip. I want a brush. Start with green. So I want to, you know, shake it up real good. And some of these really stink. So just FYI, like the red really smells. Um, so the green uh, is pretty green, right? And best way to, you know, do this is just brush over your work. And you can use a smaller brush if you want. Um, okay, we'll, uh, let that dry a little bit and then with a wet sponge wipe away my surface and i got a green flower right uh, so it's fairly effective the nice thing with bisque wear when i'm washing or wiping off my surface is that um, I won't affect the integrity of my carving lines. If I wipe away uh, 
my leather hard clay, it will affect the carving lines, right? So that's why we'll use the washes only when you have your bisque there, right? This is carved in. Okay, does that make a difference? It's like it's all minor. Like, I can't do the word. Yep. It is, it, it's, a, it's, it's raised. It's raised. Yep. Yeah. So the surface is raised. Um, the surface on these are raised too, right? So it'll still stick. It'll still, it'll flow into the crevices. So like the puzzle pieces that you have going on your stuff, well, Jeff. The outline of the puzzle will end up being yeah it'll so it uh you know depending on if your surface is carved we'll do the blue one next or uh raised you'll have a different effect and so the blue is really blue And the deeper you carve your lines, uh, the more color will flow into it. And, you know, the more harsh I can be with wiping, right? If it's, uh, you know, if I have a really light carving mark, I may only be able to brush uh, so lightly. So the deeper you the more chance of the stuff to stick inside. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. I'm not to wipe as hard if it's raised. Yep. Yeah. And it's kind of like a figure it out sort of thing. So if you want to um, just lightly wipe away, you can do it again, right? So if I really took my time, I could wipe out these little crevices and then uh, add a color in there that I wanted to. Uh, it's dry right now. Yeah, super quick. Yeah, super quick. Just like the glazes. Yeah. And with this, uh, I could dip this in glaze if I wanted to, right? Oh. So I don't have to fire this again. Uh, I would let it sit and dry for a little bit, uh, maybe like an hour or something like that. Um, and then I would use the clear uh, because you don't want to cover up the color that you just put in there, right? So we have that clear glaze that's next door and I'm uh, I'll, I'll use this as a test in the next um, gas fire that we do, right? So I'll add in a red and the yellow and the orange, um, and maybe the black down here. So I'll get it decorated up, right? Do so, color stain, like the red and the black, and like, I know when you use the, the red. There are the yellow. There could be stronger colors. Like the black is definitely right. the strongest color out of everything. Um, the yellow is a little bit more light. Uh, we'll see how it turns out in reduction. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, we'll see what happens, right? So um, yeah, the, to come back to the piece that I showed you the first time, um, even just having the black on there really brings out a lot of detail uh, and texture, right? So I could have wiped this off a little bit more and I would have a little bit uh, more uh, texture showing from, from the clay, right? And there's great stuff on that black side, right? Yep, okay. yeah. I can't hide that. Not yeah, that right. So those raised surfaces are wiped clean. Um, so any questions about washing? Right. So it's a fun thing, right? So slip or if you carve or slip dip your piece, then carve, 
uh, bisque your piece and then add some washes, it could be really brightly colored because that, you know, bright colors against the black slip is really going to, you know, make things pop. Any other questions? Cool. All right. <laughs> we'll keep we'll keep picking it. Really it's a fun one.